powerful and very selfish. You see, the nonsense that the West is talking right now is that the growth of emissions is greatest in these third world countries. We are told that we must not grow so much rice because rice, pa rice paddy fields uh, raise, uh, have gaseous emissions that uh, create further problems. These are things that are the basic requirements of survival of the poorest of the poor at the lowest level. Why don't you stop gunning around with three motor cars per head in, uh, in the United States? The issue is where the greatest volume of emissions coming from. America carbon, uh, I mean, uh, carbon consumption, uh, emission is the highest. And now, in different countries, we are being affected by that. And the Americans are trying to say that, okay, we have created this problem, you please adapt to this and give some, uh, take some money for that. This is not going to happen. No rational, right-thinking people can accept it. Exactly. I mean, like, uh, we have vast tracts of land, even in America, Australia, and it might sound like a very hippie sort of idea that about political borders and all, but this is reality. I mean, you have vast tracts of land all over the world which are empty. And over here, we're going to struggle in this tiny area of land and just, you know, like osmosis go over into India. That doesn't seem right to me. I think they have a responsibility to rehabilitate the, these people too. So we're a small country, say Bangladesh. It's a highly uh, populated, I mean, densely populated country. So if we try to adapt, it means, are the Americans going to tell us that they will have to live in the bots and adapt to that? No, we are not going to accept it. I think when it comes to the environmental issues, whether you like it or not, ultimately it has an impact on all of us. And it's going to have an impact particularly on the developing world, on the poorer societies, more than it is going to on rich societies. It's about a growing conflict between rich states and poor states, between the rich and the poor inside each country too, all together brewing global unrest. I, I think... Uh those who are talking on climate change issues, actually we do not try to see this as a single event or it is coming just alone. It will be sitting on top of the existing problems that we have already observed. Something has to be done about this. We're not lemmings just going to fall into the Bay of Bengal. It's the time has come now to create these bodies within our country, create a voice strong enough to address these things at international forums, whether it's United Nations or whatever. Because local people in America will not be welcoming as the people from Bangladesh or say, say India, for example. And so that's inevitable. But the rulers, the policymakers, those who have done it, that's their responsibility to uh, resolve this problem. Welcome to this site that will meet you in future much more regularly. You don't see this often, but your children will see it more and more. All around us, there is water. And this is a very large flood. And the water will probably go away in a month or two. But this is how it will look like as the sea rises, as the water rises because of climate change. It is all right if it is happening to Bangladesh, or maybe even South Asia. You don't have to care. But this could also, maybe why this could, this will also happen to you. And it is not about water, because climate change is not an environmental problem. It's a social problem, an economic problem, created by a consumer pattern, an economic system, a social distribution system, which just isn't sustainable. It isn't working. I mean, how much more evidence do you need than to see that the spending, the money, the wealth, the buildings, the poverty have all got so screwed up so badly for everyone that it is not an indictment of nature, but it's of what we have done to nature because we are greedy. Now, accepting that we are greedy is very important to know that we consume to an extent that is not sustainable, to know that we could actually kill ourselves. In this suicidal race to eat more, to have more, we are also killing our children. We are becoming murderers. Now, to prevent our murders, to prevent the end, 
and the rich obviously think that it will not happen to them. Unfortunately, climate change is going to affect everyone today or tomorrow. We need to start rethinking about the future. Do we have the courage to do so? With every problem that you can dream of and a few that you don't even think of related to climate change will happen and it will get all of us. It will certainly get us, but it will also probably get you. And that I think is the bad news.